All right guys, so today I'm pretty much gonna be explaining the difference when it comes to shot timing visual cues, because there's four different ones and I'm basically gonna be explaining which one's the fastest, which one's the slowest, and which one is just the best one overall. Like which one is gonna be the most consistent one. So yeah, I'm pretty much gonna be going through every single shot timing cue there is in the game. And I'm just gonna be showing us how long it takes for each one for the ball to be green. So I don't know shooting is, you know, very inconsistent this year. And a lot of people are struggling with it and a lot of people just don't understand the shot timing visual cue and you guys also got to understand that there's different types of releases in this game like if you're tired it's going to be different you know your stamina is low if you're running and shooting if you're fading if you're standing still if you're shooting after a catch and shoot you know even off a dribble like all these different timings are going to be different so you're not going to have like the same timing every time you shoot the ball or maybe you will because you're at one point you're you know you're gonna get used to the timing so it's gonna be you know a lot more easier for you guys like you could shoot off the dribble and you could shoot off a catch and shoot those timings are completely different like you could be shooting off the dribble you green in and then you try to shoot catch and shoot and you get like a very early so yeah just keep in mind that there's going to be different types of timings in the game and it's just not going to be as consistent so like when it comes to shooting it might be a little harder this year honestly that's how it, you know that's how it should be yeah let's just get straight into it all right so as you guys can see when it comes to shot timing visual cue there's four different ones we have jump we have set point we have push and we have release now in previous 2ks there was also four but they were called very early early late and very late pretty much what they did this year is they pretty much just changed the name so basically jump would be very early and set point would be early late would be push and release will be very late so for example like in 2k23 if you used early for your shot timing then you would probably go to set point if you use very early you go jump if you use late you use push if you use very late you use release so pretty much goes from fastest to the slowest and i think they changed the name just so you get like a better understanding of when the shot timing is going to be so for example jump pretty much means you're gonna have to release it like once the players in that jump animation and then when it comes to release this is obviously the slowest one just because you have to wait until the player releases the ball for you to actually let go of the square or whatever you know you're using but now i'm gonna show you guys a video of me actually timing it with the different shot timings so i pretty much used all of them and i'm gonna be showing you guys like how long it takes for certain ones and which one is just the best one All right, so hopefully now you guys have a better understanding of what, you know, the jump shot timing cue is. Hopefully, you know, you guys now understand, you know, what the difference is, you know, which one's the fastest, which is the slowest, you know, and when you're supposed to actually release, you know, or take your finger off the square button, you know, for like whenever you shoot. Hopefully, you know, you guys kind of understand that now. But I quickly want to say that the jump shot timing cue is basically just up to you. It's definitely just your preference and just what fits you the best you know what timing fits you the best on you know how you play the game for example if you're a big man or you know you're spot up you know you're usually going to be staying in the corners you're usually going to be shooting off like a catch and shoot you know or you're just standing still you're not going to be coming off a dribble so if you're like a spot up you know big man you know you can still shoot i would use something like push or set point you know one of those right there i would use Honestly, I would just stay away from release just because of how slow it is. Unless you want to use release. I mean, if it works for you, it works for you, you know? I would also stay off, um, what's it called? Jump if you're a big man or, you know, spot up. I would just stay away from those, you know, just because you're coming off a catch and shoot and the timing is probably going to confuse you sometimes and it's just not going to be consistent for you. However, if you're a guard, this is where I would maybe use jump and set point just because, like I said, you're coming off a dribble you're not really going to be doing any of these catch and shoots. You're not really going to be, you know, standing. So you're coming off a dribble and then you just shoot. You know, you got to have a quick jump shot or, you know, yeah, a quick, you know, release timing because you're a guard. So, you know, you want to try something out like jump, set point. One of those two I would, you know, recommend for you guys. But like I said, it's just your preference. You know, I would just recommend going to the Gatorade facility, go up to a court um, and just practice your shooting. You know, try to 1v1 your friend 
and just try to see you know the difference uh release timing cues and find which one is best for you because they're really all different and keep in mind guys that your jump shot timing never changes pretty much what i mean by this for example i'm gonna just shoot the ball without timing like i'm gonna just shoot it you know yeah i got a very late just because i was holding it but you guys see my jump shot like it does not change like the speed of the jump shot does not change whenever i stand still you know and obviously if i come off a dribble it may be faster even if i come off a dribble like actually i'm tired right now like even if i'm tired the jump shot the same same time i'm pretty sure i timed my jump shot earlier you know in this video i think it was around 0.43 seconds so it's always going to be 0.43 seconds if i'm coming off a dribble if i'm standing still you know that's my jump shot i can't control the jump shot timing or you know i could you know but i have it at this certain time i have it at this certain release speed and that's how my jump shot is you know and everyone's jump shot is different that's why i say you know go to the gettery facility because you know it could you know the release timing jump shot timing cue it's different you know it just depends on what jump shot you have and which one fits you the best so yeah the only thing that's going to be changing is your release timing cue whenever you shoot the ball so just make sure you know which one you have and that's pretty much why your timings may be off so hopefully you know this was helpful if it was drop a like 